Today we're going to talk about roof ventilation and we're going to be discussing some of the flaws with roof ventilation. We're also going to cover some of the real things that you can do inside your home to improve the performance of it during summer. So this is a very common occurrence in um, residential properties around Australia where insulation has not very effectively been installed, especially around ridge areas where it's very difficult to get access to actually put in the insulation and make sure that it's directly in contact with the plaster. It's been installed in as best a manner as possible, but there's always room for improvement. We're doing some thermal imaging on the surfaces connected to the building envelope. In this little corner area, we're getting 40 degrees Celsius. And then in this well insulated area, we're getting around about 33.7 degrees Celsius. Then in this area here, which hasn't been very well insulated, we're getting, again, 41, 42, 43 degrees Celsius. In this corner here, we've actually retrofitted expander foam or foamophil into the corner. We've drilled a little hole into the, into the area where there was a gap in the insulation and we've filled that area with foamophil. As you can see, the temperature difference compared to the other location is a lot different. We're sitting at around about 32 degrees. We've still got an issue around the whole perimeter behind the cornice. Fixing up these issues, is, including the actual corner behind the cornice, is a way better way of resolving or improving the performance of the building envelope during summer as opposed to installing roof ventilation. 